Warrant Officer Kim Dorr from Edmonton. I'm an infantry soldier with the 3rd Battalion, Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry in my hometown. And I'm Corporal Greg Hartwick from Huntsville, Ontario, and I'm an infantry soldier with the 2nd Battalion, Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry in Shiloh, Manitoba. By textbook, an infantry soldier is anybody who closes with and destroys the enemy by day or by night, regardless of weather, season, or terrain. Our privates have to be experts in technical systems and GPSs and satellites and the array of communications equipment that we all carry, but also they have to be their own thinking person. They have to have their own initiative. We're the ones that are out on the front line interacting with people, and there's no time to go through someone else. I'm the one that's standing there. So every soldier that's on the ground needs to be able to think on their feet and react and interact. You have to kind of play multiple roles, being somewhat of a policeman at some times and then other times a soldier in the classic sense. To be an infantry soldier is a lot more than just trying to find the easiest grunt job in the military. We still do the hardcore grunt stuff, but along all that, we still have to be able to be free thinkers and uh, you know work with some very technical aspects. In the regular force and in the reserves, we bring some of the most powerful high-tech weaponry on the planet to the battle space. This is a C7 rifle. It's the primary weapon of a rifleman and can quickly be switched from semi-automatic to automatic fire with the flick of a selector switch. It can also be equipped with a laser-enhanced scope and a grenade launcher. This is the Lab 3 light armored vehicle. It's crewed by a vehicle commander, a driver, a gunner, and seven infantry soldiers. And within those labs, you're firing a 25 millimeter cannon out of an infantry fighting vehicle that at two and a half kilometers can hit a water bottle. That is pretty cool. And this is the night vision equipment we use when we're working in the dark. No matter what the mission, we have the equipment and the training to get the job done. But we're also rebuilders and healers, deploying in a heartbeat in the wake of hurricanes, floods, and earthquakes, bringing medicine, food, and hope. In my short, like, four years, I've done everything from being a soldier on the ground in Afghanistan to fighting floods to doing uh, missions all over the place. If you're ready for the challenge of a lifetime, the forces will give you the skills and the training you need to live, move, and fight in any conditions anywhere on Earth. When I watch war movies, with the exception of MASH, I've never seen any television show that was ever not based around the infantry soldier. All the video games now, what people play for video games is what I get to do for a living. Sir, are those identified as enemy? Yeah. In there, now they're heading east. I'd have to say the travel. I think that's the coolest part. The Army just affords an opportunity to go all over the world go all over Canada and uh, just meeting different people. I think that's definitely the coolest part. You're basically paid to be in super good shape and you're paid to do stuff that when you were a kid, when you're watching TV, you don't get excited because the car mechanic's gonna be turning a wrench. Nobody really gets excited for that when they're 10 years old. You get excited because you see Band of Brothers taking the hill. So that's really what you get to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Everybody in the Canadian Forces starts their military career with basic training in Saint-Jean, Quebec. After that, infantry soldiers move on to one of the Canadian Forces battle schools in Meaford, Ontario, Wainwright, Alberta, or Valcartier, Quebec. That's where you'll be introduced to dismounted offensive and defensive operations, reconnaissance patrolling, advanced weapons handling, and individual field craft. As your training progresses, you'll continue to develop your infantry soldier skills, handling your rifle and heavier weapons like machine guns, grenades, and anti-tank weapons. Communications, camouflage, moving and fighting as a unit day and night, patrolling and digging in on defense. It's serious business and you're going to work harder than you ever have, but you're going to build some of the strongest friendships of your life. You're going to be taught how to take the skills and strengths you have to make your unit the best it can be. Once you complete your training, you'll be assigned to one of Canada's three regular force infantry regiments, the Royal Canadian Regiment in Ontario or New Brunswick, the Royal 22nd Regiment, a Francophone regiment commonly known as the Van Dues in Quebec, or the Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry in Alberta or Manitoba. Your time in garrison will be spent continually sharpening your skills and staying mission ready. As your career progresses, you can branch out into a huge range of incredible specialties. Uh, since joining the Army, I, I've done a basic uh, reconnaissance course, advanced reconnaissance courses, basic uh, anti-armor course to advanced anti-armor courses. I've done basic parachutist, military freefall parachutist, static line square parachutist, uh, landing zone drop zone controller, desert warfare, winter warfare, basic mountain operations. Uh, so I've done a ton of different things. 
I guess the coolest part of this job is to see the evolution of the military. Most of Canada didn't really know what our military was capable of, but it was our history that made us proud. And now, with the myriad of other things that Afghanistan has changed for the military, the biggest change it has made is now it's opened up a whole new generation to be proud of what our country really is. It's definitely gone farther than what I expected. Uh, getting in, I was hoping for deployments, I was hoping uh, for some travel and stuff like that, but I really didn't have an idea of uh, how much stuff would actually be going on and how busy I would actually be, and it's definitely gone way above and beyond what I ever expected. There really is no other lifestyle like it, and being in the infantry especially, I've loved it from day one.